What's up YouTube peeps? This is Jessica Villarreal and today is day five of 30 days, 30 tips on how to grow your direct sales business. So today what I want to talk to you about is personal branding. First and foremost, I want to ask you this question. Are you branding your company or are you branding you? Your brand is you, not your company. Your brand is the way you act. It's the way you put yourself out there, whether it be in person or on social media. It's how you interact with your customers. It's your engagement with your customers. How you build those relationships. Ultimately, it's the reputation and the trust that you build. That's what creates you, your brand. So today I wanna bring you four quick, fun tips that will help you in building your personal brand and what that means and how you can go and utilize it within your business every single day. So number one, be yourself. Customers recognize real and they recognize fake. They want someone that's authentic. So I ask you, who are you? What do you like? What are your values? What are your interests? What is your vision? Those are the type of things that you need to share with your customers. You need to share all of that so they know truthfully who you are. But be yourself, don't be someone else, be you. Number two, target your customer audience. Make sure that you're speaking and that you're trying to attract the audience that you want. Who is it that you're wanting to buy from you? Who is it that you're wanting to host a party for you? Who is it that you're wanting to join your team? So when you sit there and you think about that, you have to know who that audience is so you can then try to attract that audience. It's so important for you to know who your ideal customer is because that's kind of how you're going to market the rest of your business. My target audience is always millennials. I That's one of my biggest target markets. So where are those people hanging out? Guess what? They're here on YouTube. Where are those people hanging out? On social media. So guess what? One of my biggest strategies for my business is YouTube, social media. You have to know where your target audience is. You have to know where they play. You have to know what they do. You have to know the things that they're buying, the things that they like, because that is how you're going to put out your content, your post, your graphics, your pictures. When it comes to those things, you have to truly understand who your target audience is so that you can go attract them to come to you instead of just trying to put something out there to the masses and hoping that someone comes looking for it. Find out who you're wanting in your organization, who you're wanting to become a customer, who you're wanting to be your next hostess, and that will help you in creating your target audience. Number three, speak your voice, not someone else's. This is a really big one. So who are you? What do you sound like? What does one of your posts that you write on Facebook, what does it sound like? When you make a video or a Facebook Live, what type of personality are you putting out there? What is your personality? When someone sees a video and you're over the top or you're totally different than what you are naturally, people sense that. You should not copy and paste someone else's social media post. You should not copy for verbatim someone else's YouTube video. You should always go out and research and find things, but put your twist on it, not anybody else's. You have to be you. If your customers know how you speak and you go and copy and paste another social media post, you don't even tweak it, you don't change anything to so use some verbiage that maybe you would use, and you just go and post it on your page, guess what? People are gonna know that that wasn't you. They're gonna know that that's fake. Make sure that you're being very authentic. Same thing, another big reason why you shouldn't just go copy and paste and use someone else's graphic that they created. I know that that takes a little extra time, but create your own content. Be you, not someone else. Number four, design your experience for your customer. So I always tell my team, people don't buy into the business, they buy into you. Ultimately, the majority of the people choose you for a reason. They choose you because of something that you did that stood out. They choose you because of your personality. They choose you because of your customer service. They choose you because who you are, not because of your company. When I say that, I want you to think about 
that Instagram uh, page that you followed, right? What was it that stood out to you that made you say, oh my gosh, this Instagram page is on point. I'm going to follow them. Or that Facebook business page. What was it that made you say, wow, I'm going to follow them and I'm going to keep on coming back to them. Man, I, I got to follow this girl on YouTube because she's just absolutely amazing. And there's just something about her. And um, I love coming and watching the videos, the experience that I get once I leave. So that is what you have to really think when you are working your business every single day. Don't just go and use the company flyer that you have because that's the easiest and the less painful, right? And every other thousands of consultants are using that same flyer. Create your own, stand out. Give your customer something that's gonna make them say, wow, this chick's on point. Do you have a logo for your business, not your company? Do you have a slogan that you use that people know what that means because they know you said it or you created it? Do you have a set of colors that represent you or what you are or what you like? Are you an emoji fan? Do you use that within your branding? You know, you have to switch your mindset to start thinking like a business owner. Those are four tips that I hope you took something away with and that you go out and that you rethink really quickly. Take an hour or 30 minutes to sit down and rewatch this video and think about those four key points when it comes to branding. Think about, are you doing those things? If you're not, how can you change those things? If you are if you see another consultant that does a great job of these things or you see another company or you see another Instagram page or a YouTube page, whatever social media platform you're on, if there's one that stands out to you, go back and look at it. Write down what are some of the things that you liked about it, what drew you to it and implement some of those things in your way with your business. Because the name of the game, guys, is you don't want to be like everybody else. You want to stand out. And the way you put yourself out there is the way people are going to recognize you. They're the way people are going to remember you. And people buy, host, and join from people that create a reputation for themselves, a great one, and people that they love and trust. And when you create that through your personal branding, you then become your brand, not your company's brand. So remember that as you go out and you work your business every single day and I hope that you comment below in the video what are some things that you're doing now that are working great and maybe what are some things that you know you need a little bit of help in. Comment them down below. If you like what you heard on the video, make sure that you like it. Give me a thumbs up and share it with your team, with another direct sales friend. And definitely, uh, last but not least, make sure that you subscribe and you click the get notifications little bell in the corner so you don't miss out on any video that I do. Alrighty guys, thanks again for always watching and stay tuned.